Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss common errors that are found in fractions. Now, when we are doing fractions, we usually think of a numerator and a denominator. But as we get older, these numerators and denominators become unknowns. So I've got x over 5 plus x. When we have one term over two terms, we cannot cancel. I am not allowed to do this and say, okay, my answer is 1 over 5. That is incorrect. That is also such a common error that we usually find major loss in the metric marks for these silly errors. Now, how do we know when I can cancel and when I can't cancel? The basic rule is you must have one term over one term, but also it has to be the same. For example, if I've got x over x plus 5. Now the top is one term and the bottom is two terms. But as soon as I put it in brackets, the top is one term and the bottom is one term. However, they are not the same. Because x is not the same as x plus 5. So to cancel, we need to have the following conditions met. One term over one term and it must be the same. If I am given x plus 2 over x plus 2, when I put it in bracket it becomes one term and they are exactly the same so they can cancel and give me 1. Let's take the following example x plus 2 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1. Even though it looks like you can cancel the x minus 1 with the x minus 1, because of this plus sign, you cannot cancel. There are two terms on the top and there is one term at the bottom. So you cannot cancel. The second error we find with fractions is that when we have division, if you have division, in other words 5 over x divided by x over 5, number 1 you cannot cancel. So I cannot cancel that x with this x. I cannot cancel the 5 on the top with the 5 at the bottom. The rule is you must change division to multiplication. And number two, you must always swap the right hand side. You look at the number on the right hand side of the division. And that is the one you swap. You do not swap the left hand side. So for this answer, I would have had 5 over x times, and then I swap it, 5 over x. Now you can cancel if they are the same. In this case, they are not. So we go and we multiply top with the top and bottom with the bottom. So I'm going to say 5 times 5 is equal to 25 over x times x, which is equal to x squared. Thank you for watching.